Hiya, welcome back to my channel. If you can hear any noises outside, it is my neighbour and they've started to dis like decided to start, I don't know, banging something, hitting something, I don't know. They started doing something in the garden and making a noise, so if you can hear that, I apologise. Um, but yes, aside from that, hiya and welcome back to my channel. And today I have a video, I don't really do much of this on my channel, but it is a skincare video. Now the reason I don't do too much skincare on my channel is because I have never put like massive amounts of effort into my skincare. Like I have over the past couple of years introduced new things to my skincare and made sure I do certain things. Um, but I've never been massive on skincare, but I don't know what it exactly is this year, but I think it's the fact that I'm turning 27 in the summer and that really freaks me out and um, yeah I just sort of was like oh my god this is the year I need to get on top of skincare so yeah that's what I figured this year not just about like anti-aging as I'm getting older and I want to start being sort of like preventative of like wrinkles and all of that it's more so as well that I've never had flawless skin since I was about 12. I thought you get spots when you're like a teenager and then you grow out of it but I'm kind of up to 27 and I don't have like, I don't have a single day where I don't have a spot or like a blemish that's left after a spot. I always have like red marks on my face where I've had spots or like marks and I would love one day in the nearer future to have like perfect blemish free skin. I don't have by any means bad skin, I would never say that, but I've never, like I'm not one of those people who could wear no makeup and you wouldn't see any blemish marks on my face. There is always like either a spot or like leftovers of spots, especially around my jawline. I don't tend to get on my cheeks or my forehead that much, it's all like on my jaw here. Um, so yeah, I would love for one day to have like better skin. So I thought one of the first steps in that would be looking at my skincare. So this year my mission is to start the anti-aging skin process and the quest for flawless skin. So I'm getting into skincare and I thought I would share it with you. <laughs> and naturally as I'm getting into skincare I want to know more about it. I don't, really, I don't really talk about it as well because I don't understand a lot of things and I don't want to make mistakes or say the wrong thing or like people think what are you talking about you have no idea what you're talking about because I don't um so yeah I want to learn more about it and understand what kind of ingredients to have and what kind of ingredients to not have and of course my first stop was the skincare guru Caroline Hirons and I have been pouring over her blog for the past three months like it is my bible I'm on there very much every day looking up her recommendations like if if I find a product and I think, should I buy it, I'm straight on her blog to see if she's used it or if she thinks it's rubbish or thinks she's good. I've been through so many blog posts of like comparing different products, how to like read labels of stuff, why you shouldn't use mineral oil, like, like where you should spend money in your routine. I'm just all over her blog all of the time trying to learn and teach myself and figure out what stuff to use and what stuff not to use because I don't really know. I have been like dabbling in skincare as I said a little bit but mostly for my evening routine I've had the Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm in my evening skincare for I bought it when I was at uni so I've it's got to have been maybe 2012 or 13 I must have bought it so I say it's 2012 it's like six years so I've been using that for a long time and um, I love that I've also had the pixie glow tonic and I've been using that for a few years I've gone through several bottles of that but apart from those two things moisturizers have never been like massive like I just sort of stick to what I have done since I was a teenager and I always use the Nivea soft and I was reading the label the other day and I figured out that I think it has mineral oil, mineral oil that's such a hard thing to say I think it has mineral oil in it so I'm unsure about using that now and um yeah and I've used lots of different like skincare stuff especially when I was at uni I used, tried a lot of origins so I like the origins drink up intensive mask but in terms of like serums and proper night creams I haven't really found one that like that is my jam so I did I think at uni I used one of the origins night moisturizers it was called like nitamins or something like that I can't remember the exact it was a brown pot I remember that um but apart from that I haven't really stuck to a routine or anything and then in the mornings 
for most of my life I haven't cleaned my face I've just sort of got up and put moisturizer on no that's really bad <laughs> and Caroline would very like advise against that but that's what I've done so that's really bad over the past I'd say year or two I've been trying to use a daily SPF and I had loads of problems with that and I couldn't find one that didn't break me out I've tried the La Roche-Posay and that broke me out really bad I think I don't agree with their but like my skin doesn't agree with their brand in general because I tried the Efficolod Duo and my skin broke out really bad with that. Um, I tried the Bioderma SPF and that made my skin really, really dry and flaky. And then I tried another SPF and I didn't like that either. Um, yeah, so I now have found an SPF that I like. So I have been using daily SPF, but in the morning, other than SPF and moisturiser, I haven't been doing that much care to my skincare routine so this is the year that I'm going to get it under control and over the past three months I've been gradually buying a few bits here and there to try and build up my um, skincare routine I've got a list on my phone of the order of stuff to put on my face I don't know I can't really show you very well but I've got like a on my notes I wrote down what Caroline said to put it in the right order of like what order you put stuff on your face and then I've written basically products that could go at that stage. I've got really, really deep into this. Um, so yeah, I have bought some things over the past couple of months. So I thought I'd gather it all together and show you what I picked up. Also to note, I did have a Kiehl's, I've just run out of it. I was just looking over there because it's over there. I've just run out of it. It's the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream and I was using that as my night cream and then I had my Emma Hardy and my Glow Tonic so I sort of like settled with those as my night skincare routine and although I wanted to introduce a few things here and there, I have started off with my morning skincare routine. So I thought if I start like building up the products that work for me and figuring out what stuff I want to use in the mornings and then gradually throughout the year I'll then start working on my evening routine because at the moment I'm kind of like I'm okay with my evening routine it's not perfect and it needs more serums and retinols and all of that but um that's okay at the moment so I thought I would start so the stuff that I've bought is mainly to use in the mornings and figure out my morning skincare so it's not just uh, wake up put your moisturizer on put your SP off on done um so yeah that's how I've gone with this also I did make a mistake and I went in a bit hard and I tried straight off to buy a bunch of stuff and go straight in with the routine and that really didn't work I had really bad breakouts all down here and I think my skin reacted to one of the products that I was using and I just cut everything out and went back to back to basics and just cleansed and moisturized and um yeah that was all I did. Actually, I did used to use now and again a morning cleanser and that was the Clarins. It's like a squeezy tube. Uh, I have no idea what it's called. It's called like jelly, milky jelly cleanser, something like that. It was like a peachy colour and it was like a gel. And I used to use that in the mornings every so often, um, depending on how I felt in the morning how much time I had um, but yeah other than that I hadn't been using anything and yeah I went in hard with like a straight out routine I think that's a big mistake and my skin really broke out I have been reintroducing things back in like one by one and I think I figured out what it was and it was um well I think it what it was and I was using the nip and fab extreme um pads glycolic pads and I used those to I had cut out everything else I'd brought back in the cleanser and I don't think it was that and then I brought back in the nip and fab pads and I think that is what because I straight away got like red marks here um, and like little like little white head things and um, so I think it was that so I stopped using those again so I need to figure out an acid tone for the morning because those didn't really work for me but yes yeah, so I haven't got those with me here because I, I'm not going to be using those anymore but yes I've been waffling for far too long, so I'll get on with just showing you what I've been buying. First up, I have a cleanser, because that's the main thing I wanted, a good cleanser for the morning. And I bought this Indie Lee, what's it called? Brightening Cleanser, and this is like a really like satisfying glass bottle, but it does give me anxiety <laughs> using it, because I'm like, oh my god, what if I break it? Um, but yeah, it's a really, really nice like refreshing cleanser in the morning. I'm not going to explain too much about the product itself, because... I'm not that knowledgeable about the ingredients or what it does for you, but I'll just tell you whether I like it and if I've used it, blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, I picked this up on Cult Beauty and I think it is, 
I think it's £30, but I had a discount code. So, yeah, I got this from Cult Beauty. I think they're the only place that sells it in the UK. I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah, I really, really like it. And I think this doesn't break out my skin at all. And I'm really enjoying using it. So I'll definitely try out more from this brand because I haven't tried it before. And I really enjoy this. Then moving on to, like, the toning stage in the morning. I have... Oh, well, obviously I had those glycolic nip and fab pads but I'm not going to be using those so they're out of the equation so I need to figure out anything for that then I wanted to get a refreshing like hydrating mist so all of this obviously well most of this is under recommendations from Caroline's blog um, obviously as well I'll link everything in the description box in case you want to go and have a look at the ingredients or like the products or Caroline's blog if there's posts on her blog I'll link them in the description box as well because I found it so helpful and I'm moving on to the product this is a January Labs restorative tonic mist and this you just spray all over your face and it's alcohol free uh, yeah alcohol free mist with anti-aging properties that hydrates improves skin texture and fights free radical damage and it's got aloe vera juice and witch hazel and all that good stuff um, so yeah I just mist this over my face in the mornings and as far as I'm aware this doesn't break me out either so that is a tick in my box I was then reading another post in her vlog about what ingredients you should be using one of them was vitamin E and the current moisturiser that I have is a Nivea soft one and it has vitamin E in it but then obviously it's got I think it's got mineral oils if I've read the label correctly um, so I was thinking right I need to introduce some other kind of vitamin E if I cut that out um, so I saw that in the body shop sale this was half price it's £5 and it's a vitamin E hydrating face mist now I only bought this last week and because I'm, I'm trying to introduce stuff gradually and figure out if stuff's breaking my skin out I haven't actually used this yet but um, I'm hoping that it's all fine so I can't really report back but pick this up in the sale another toner that I picked up is the Body Shop British Rose Petal Soft Gel Toner and I spotted this in one of Jade Blinton's vlogs and it, the Body Shop had sent it to her and it just looked really nice and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to give that a whirl because it's only £9.50 and I was thinking this could be a like hydrating toner in the evening or a toner in the morning if I want something really like nice and sort of luxurious because it just looks really cool and, oh, sorry I've got, I think I've got dog fluff on my nose the perils of having pets and animal hair, animal hair, animal hair, animal hair sticking to your lipstick. Anyway, um, yeah, I just thought this looked really nice, and I've used it twice. No, I've used it once. Yeah, I've used it once, and um, I think you can put it on with your hands, like pat it on. Oh, I put it on a cotton pad, and I like, swiped it with my face, and it was lovely. Um, so yeah, got that. And then one key thing that I've been trying to introduce is a vitamin C because I've read that that's really good for your skin and it's really good for like sort of like resurfacing it and I don't I think it helps get rid of like blemish marks I'm not entirely sure don't quote me but I really didn't know which one to get I looked at the Ren right serum I looked at like, I looked at so many I spent so long figuring out which one to get and in the end I went for the Indeed Labs Vitamin C24 and uh, this I, I was using but I cut it out completely when my skin broke out so I haven't started using it again but it feels really nice when I put it on my skin I put it on in the mornings obviously before moisturiser and I felt okay but I don't know entirely one thing that I do want to get right this year is the Vitamin C because yeah, I think it will help my skin a lot, um, but I don't know if this is the right one yet. I saw that Sarah Ashcroft was using like a like a sort of like proper serum of like a pet thing in one of her vlogs the other day, and I was looking at that, so I don't know if that would be any better for me. I don't know, I just feel a bit lost, but I'm going to reintroduce this probably next week or the week after, um, once I've figured out like the next step in my routine has it broken me out yeah so trying this out as well and then finally for the mornings i have bought a new moisturizer and it is the clinique moisture surge surge i said that really weird moisture i can't even speak moisture surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator and i had a voucher from my birthday last year that i hadn't used for john lewis so they had a price match 15 percent off so this cost me the grand total of 60p which was pretty fantastic um so yeah i've used this once and that is today so i don't know how i'm going to get on with this so i'm going to use it for the next week and check that this doesn't break me out 
but I'm hoping for good things because I haven't used I use that's the other um, SPF that I use. I use the Clinique City something SPF, and it was all right. It was fine. I just didn't love it. So that's when I moved on to the current SPF that I'm on that I'll show you in a minute. Um, but yeah trying this out as well. I was intending this video to be really short but I talk so much that it's really not going to be so apologies for that. I will one day make a short video but what you gonna do? I have picked up a couple of things for the evening so I'll quickly show you those as well and the first is the Pixi Overnight Glow Serum and I already have the Pixi Rose is it called rose hip oil or rose oil something rose oil serum something like that um i already have that and i really liked it and then i was on their website browsing because i'm currently eyeing up their 20 i think it's called 24 carat eye cream it's like a tube and a rolly thing i think um i'm currently eyeing that up i'm not sure about to get that because i want to get eye creams as well and figure out what eye cream to use in the morning blah 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 um so i was eyeing that up and whilst i was there i saw this and i've heard stuff about it and um i've heard that it is like it had like really good reviews and so many people loved it so i was like sod it i'll give this a whirl and i think i bought this on cult beauty as well when i was making my order with the other stuff because I got a discount code on that. Um, so yes, I've used this a few times and I like it. In the evenings as well, I forgot to mention I alternate between the Emma Hardy Marine Cleansing Balm and the Pixi Glow Mud Cleanser. Why? Why do you have to start banging again? I alternate between those two and um, I kind of wanted to try out another cleanser as well and another Caroline top product, it's got a bit dust on it, um, it I picked up the other day in the body shop and it is the body shop chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter, I haven't tried this yet, it is fresh as a daisy inside so can't report back on that but this did have 40% off so it's £10 and then I got it for £6 with a 40% off code which was great. Um, so haven't tried it, but hoping for good things. And finally, for the new things that I have bought, I have got this Body Shop Drops of Youth Bouncy Sleeping Mask. Now this was a pure whim. I had seen it. I think I think I was watching some Caroline and the Body Shop videos. I think I, I saw it somewhere, and I saw that Caroline had mentioned that it was good. Anything she mentions is good. I'm like, how much is it? Can I afford it? Yes, I'm buying it. <laughs> That's pretty much how my brain goes at the moment. Um, and I just was in Body Shop the other day having a nosy. And this is when I picked up the um, Vitamin E Mist that was five, no, yeah, five pounds in the sale. And I spotted that this was on the shelf in my local Body Shop as well in the sale. And this, I'd remembered seeing because I'd looked at it online before I'd gone out and um, it was £24 and I was like, nah, I'm not sure about that, um, I, I don't like need it and I was in there and this was in the sale, it was on the sale online because I think this is at, like old packaging or something and this was £10, so I was like, £10 from £24, I'll try it out. So it's a really weird consistency, it's like, I don't know, it's weird. It's like a gloopy gel. I've used it twice. I'm not sure how much it does for my skin, but I quite like it. I quite like the smell as well. It's just a really weird consistency. Also, not skincare, but skincare related, I picked something else up in the body shop. You can't see it. It's not working. This has failed. <laughs> um, these little bunny headbands, so obviously, like, you put it on to hold your hair back, not like this, but you put it on to hold your hair back while you're cleaning your face and I just thought it was great and it's £4 so I bought it. <laughs> you just wear it as like a fashion accessory too. So cute, I love the little ears, they're hilarious. But for £4, <laughs> you can't go wrong. And the final couple of things that I wanted to chat to you about are repurchases, so stuff that I've re-bought just because I've recently got them and I'll just tell you why I love them. So the first thing, I've mentioned it multiple times already, it is my Emma Hardy Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. So I bought this like two, like maybe a month or two ago and I bought it because I was almost out of my other one and Feel Unique had like 20% off your brand for life or something and then had another 10% off for something else, I can't remember. So it made it 
how much did they make it? I think it was like 28 or 29 pounds. So I was like, winner, I'll buy that. Um, and I was really pleased that I bought it, but I went on there the other day to see if they had a travel size because when I go on holiday, I want to start taking better care of my skin because I'm really bad for my skin when I go on holiday and do nothing. Um, so in my efforts to be better this year, I thought, I'll see if they've got a travel size. Went on there, this is now £48 and it really angers me because the first time I bought this, I swear it was like it was either 28 or 31 I can't remember which, but now it's £48 and it's the same amount of product it's like, it's ridiculous, and £48, I'm kind of thinking, will I buy it again? I'm really, really disappointed because I'm not sure if I'll buy it again if it is £48. But I have this one, so I have the length that it takes me to use this tub to decide and for them to rethink their bad choices. Because it's good, but £48, no. And the SPF that I have been mentioning to you that I use and love, it is the Body Shop. We've got quite a lot of Body Shop products in this. This is the Body Shop Skin Defense Multi Protection Essence SPF 50 PA plus 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 with red algae extract from the North Atlantic and vitamin C derivative. Very descriptive. Um, I this is the only SPF that I found that. That, that's why I didn't think the Clinique one was right for me because it sort of left like a film on my face it didn't feel like it just sunk in and it was just like it was skin it left sort of a slight film on my face and this is the first SPF that I've tried that I'm like yes this just feels like my skin it feels it like it's so like smooth and oh, I just love it this is like the dream SPF so I would highly recommend this. This is a 60 mil, and I think this is 21 pounds, and it had the 40% off, so it's about I think it's like 12 or 13 pounds. So yeah, while because I think the Body Shop still has their 20% 20 40 40% 40 off. So if there's anything you want, go and buy it because 40% absolute steal. And the final item is something I've bought probably about three or four times in the past. I've either had it for like Christmas presents or I bought it for myself or I've had vouchers for Christmas and I bought it for myself and um, it is the famous Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. And um, yeah, so as I said, I have dabbled in and out of skincare since, probably since I was at uni. Uni was the time when I first started looking at skincare so that was back in 2000, say 10, 11. I started looking at skincare probably when I was reading blogs and seeing YouTube and all of that kind of stuff and that's when I probably started dabbling in skincare and this is one of the first things that I was like right this is serious, this is going to help my skin, this is going to be great and I do really like this, it's a really really good serum and I have been, because it's quite, ex but it's quite expensive for me, I like, I wouldn't spend like loads and loads and loads on skincare because I just don't have that budget to do that even though I've got all of this stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't, I couldn't spend like £100 on one product, that would be just insane. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let me backtrack on that comment. Um, yes, so this was £100, <laughs> um, but I didn't choose to buy this for £100. Um, yeah, so I love this product and it's about, I think when I first bought it, it was about 50 no. Maybe about 50 quid. I can't remember. But it is now like, I don't know, is it 70 pounds or something, the size that I normally get? I can't remember, but Luke's going to the airport and I said, can you see if they've got this at the airport because I really need to just rebuy it, bite the bullet, just get another one because I've been rationing my existing one whilst I barely had any. And Luke said, what size do you want, the 50 mil or the 100 mil? And I was like, how much are they? He said, 50 mil is 59, 100 mil is 99. And I was like, just get the 50 mil. About 10 minutes later, he's like, I bought the 100 mil. So, this travel exclusive, absolutely huge, and the last one I had was 30 mil, so third of the size of this beast. Um, but yeah, apparently it's more cost effective, according to Luke, so, yeah. But I'm trying to get him to go half, Harvey Harvey's with me, because he made the decision to buy this big one. So we'll see how that goes. That's everything I have to show you and chat to you about and my skincare mission for 2018. Um, wish me luck. Hopefully I look like this still in 30 years. Wishful thinking, right? Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue reading Caroline's blog like it's my bible and hoping for good skin. And yeah, I need to, the one thing I need to like learn how to read labels a bit better though because 
There's this currently an M&S night cream that I've read about and I really don't know whether to buy it because I don't know if Caroline would approve of it or if it's good or any of that. Loads of people are saying it's really good but I don't know if it's actually good. Um, but yeah, so need to up my game a bit but I'm trying, I'm trying very very hard to be good for my skin and um, yeah I need to drink more water, I need to exercise, I need to eat well, all of that stuff goes into skin as well obviously and eat less sugar, that's, that's my main issue eating sugar um so yeah i need to cut that out yeah lots of things that need to happen this year to up my life <laughs> but yeah sorry if i've waffled on forever i usually do but if you have stuck around for this long and you've got made it to the end and thank you and well done if you did like this video please do give pl 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 can't even speak if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up that would be grand and if you are already subscribed to my channel then thank you so much for sticking around and if you're not already one of those people that are subscribed to my channel then please hit that subscribe button that would make me super duper happy and hopefully i'll see you in my next video